Yes, we pressed the button. <laughs> I'm so like tech unsavvy that I still can't figure out how to press a button or not press a button. Isn't that funny? I think it's funny. So I am currently working on posters. I showed up super early for Divine Liturgy, which is church service for those unorthodox, which I'm assuming is most of you. Social trends are a dead end. You know, I remember when, when, um, what do you call it? Not Facebook, um, Twitter. I remember when Twitter first came out. Like, I immediately thought it was going to be, like, the end of society. <laughs> Mainly because... Society is really stupid. I don't know, like, who needs proof of that, but thanks to social media, there, there's endless evidence, okay? Endless evidence. You just scroll through that endless evidence. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to feel superior to anybody. Like, when I say that my lifestyle is superior, it's because... I don't need the internet to give me brain food, okay? If you need the internet to give you brain food, that's not a positive thing. That's not positive for you, and it's not positive for anybody else. It's not positive for the internet either. And I don't think it's the internet's fault. Because who controls the internet? You know, it's like the AI. We can't complain about the AI. We can't complain about the algorithm because people choose for it to have an effect on them. You know, their lack of consciousness is the reason why our society is so screwed up. So like, I'm not gonna blame the internet for, for problems that we could solve if we were just more aware of ourselves, you know? But in regards to Twitter, you're talking about a bunch of regular ass people using a website that celebrities use to promote their thoughts, okay? Why would anybody expect that shit to work out? I'm sure I've already mentioned that, but... It just seems so silly to me that people would expect the society to be good considering all the objects that we have that surround us on a regular basis, you know? Modernity turns everything to shit. And I think that there are ways that you can use, like, modern devices without your life turning to shit, but you have to be conscious of how that can happen and you also have to be very very um disciplined which is yet another thing that people suck at so i just i just can't believe that people would choose to spend every waking moment staring at a box, you know? And it's it's not just about the TVs, it's like, you know, you remember fireside chats?
with, uh, was it Roosevelt? It wasn't Teddy Roosevelt, it was Franklin Roosevelt, I think. Yeah, well, he was really popular for uh, the, the fireside chats. That was like a really um, popular broadcast. Um, People are actually coming to the church now and just taking note. I guess they don't see me out here. Or maybe they're intimidated, so that's why they're not saying anything. You intimidate a lot of people. They just don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Most people are afraid to ask questions. You know? They really are. They're so afraid to ask questions. But anyway, um... What was I saying? Fireside chats. The fireside chats, yeah. So you have the whole family like gathered together for the fireside chats, right? So before the TV there was there were these like radio broadcasts. And so basically like they've always used technology to come between you and your family, you and your spouse, you and your loved ones, you know? And I'm really blessed because, like, I work at a restaurant. And working at a restaurant, like, there's so much drama at the restaurant that there's still shit to talk about that has nothing to do with the internet, you know? And for the most part, um, people aren't, like, obsessing about stuff on the internet. Like, people are on their phones, but they're not, like, constantly talking about things that celebrities are doing, you know? Every once in a while, they'll, they'll bring something up. But we're still able to engage with one another. We're still able to have conversations that don't involve phones. We're still able to laugh and cut up and have a good time. And that has not been tainted at all. I'm so, I'm so grateful for that. But it's like I just think about how people that are weak, people that don't really have much going for them, people that don't really have um, a strong work ethic and they don't have much confidence, um, in that work ethic, or they don't have confidence in the projects they're working on. They're probably not working on any projects, you know? So it's like they don't have anything to talk about. They don't have anything to be proud about. They don't have any, well, I shouldn't say proud, but they don't have anything to get excited about, you know? So naturally, like, they're going to turn to, like, the TV. And I just think about with, with families and with couples, and I see this all the time, just every time I go out, out into the lobby to, like, clean tables, um, I just see like all these people like just just staring at their little phone um, and it's like you see people that are alone that are on their phone then then couples and then families and friends it's like that has come between everybody okay and it's really just an extension of the technology that we already had this this use as a divider so the people that don't have anything to talk about or maybe there's tension and, and they're, they don't want to address that tension and so, well, okay, we could just watch TV, you know? I mean, that's what's destroyed America. They're just using immigration to take care of the rest of it.